Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a haul video. I started filming this, I got like halfway through and I was like, um, I don't think I'm in focus and I was not. So we're going to try take two. So today's video is a haul. I Did I say that? I have a little bit of PR stuff. I know sometimes people don't like when I show PR products, but it's really good stuff. So I want to show it to you guys. I have one birthday gift. My birthday was yesterday and I have some stuff that I bought at Ulta. So I'm just going to roll it all into one big ass haul video. So first up, the most important product of the day is this. Is this a product? It's a purse. Anyway, this is the mini Bennett. I know it's something Bennett from Coach. I have been wanting this bag for so long. It's holographic. Like, come on. Look at that. Oh my god, I love this little bag so much. And I also got the... Where is it? Meh. Oh, here it is. I also got the wristlet. Can you see that holographic? This, it, this just excites me to no end. Um, they do have a larger tote bag. I Someone said they have a cosmetics bag and a wallet. They didn't have any of those products at the Coach Outlet because I would have bought them all. But I love this. I like the size of it. I do wish it were a little bit bigger, but it's just... Like, why isn't every purse holographic, right? Like, after you see this, you're like... Every purse should look like this. I just feel like it goes with anything, and it's like unicorn skin. I, I love this. Um, this is only available at the Coach Outlet, or you can get some special invitation from Coach. So if you're interested in this, I would check your Coach Outlet. I know they've been out for a little while. They're sold out in a lot of places, but if you can find it, you need it. It's so good. In the sun, it's like out of control. Okay, so let me show you guys the PR stuff and then we'll get into what I got at Ulta. So first and foremost, ColourPop came out with brow products, which is so exciting. So these are the brow colors and these are like dip brow. They're in like the little pots. I guess I should show you that. So that's how many shades there are. There are eight shades. Um, let me just pick one. This one is called Arched Auburn. Oh my God. Why is it so hard? Oh, there we go. Um, so that's the color. Oh, that would be nice for redheads. So I haven't tried these. I did hear one YouTuber say that they were really good. So that's promising. And then this is what I'm really excited about. These are the brow pencils. I'm so excited for these. I did try one of them. I tried Bangin' Brunette, which is this guy. And I will say like it is extremely pigmented and not very waxy let me show you guys like that is barely touching my hand they're just so pigmented just I wish they were a little bit more waxy because I feel like when I was putting it on my brow I had to be very very careful because the color is so intense um, I'm going to play with them. I actually think I'm going to film a video on them and like go through all the colors, put them on, and do like a follow me throughout the day. But I'm excited for these. One other thing that I don't love about the pencil, once you retract the product or once you twist it up, you can't retract it back down. So like if you would say, oh, I want to see how much product is in here and twist it up, that bitch is not going back down, so don't do that. Um, I do, I just wish that it was like a regular pencil where you could twist it back down, but that's minor. I just wanted to mention it in case you get them and you're like, oh, let's see what's in here, and then you're effed, girl. You are screwed. So Laura Geller came out with two new Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminators. They are so, so gorgeous. This one is in the shade Peach Glow. And this one is Charming Pink. Look how gorgeous. So Peach Glow Charming Pink. Oh my God, you guys, they're so pretty. They are so freaking. Uh, let me give you a little hand swatch. Just look at that. They're so gorgeous. For me, these would be more of a blush topper rather than a highlighter. Um, but I'm going to try them out. I'm going to try highlighting with them. I'm going to try them as a blush topper. We're just going to put it everywhere because, oh, they're so pretty. And then Urban Decay came out with the Vice LTD Reloaded Palette in honor of their 20th anniversary. 
So this has some old shades, some older limited edition shades, some new shades. It's like a little assortment of Urban Decay's past 20 years in eyeshadow, if that makes sense. I've worn this twice, and both times I've worn it, I was so happy with the way my eyes came out. I love that it's more colorful. Like these purples are so pretty. It's just a gorgeous palette. And I love it, and I'm excited for Urban Decay. Congrats on 20 years, that's such an accomplishment. And the packaging's really cute, as Urban Decay always is. So, what else do I have PR-wise? Could that be it? Oh no, I have um, a few Benefit products. Benefit sent me this huge PR package. They sent it to a ton of YouTubers, but it looked like a big hula bronzer. It was so cute. and. The other two products that were in it that I'm not going to show you were just the Hula Bronzer, like the original little boxed blush. Um, but this is a new product. This is the Hula Zero Tan Lines. Look at this packaging. It looks like a little Hula Girl. I tried this on Snapchat, but I was really tan at the time. I think if I used this now, it would show up on me better. When so I tried it when I was tan, it didn't really do that much for me, but I think now it would because I have like zero tan, but this is so cute. It has a little sponge at the bottom. This is an all over body bronzer. It's not a self tanner, so you put this on get tan and then just wash it off in the shower and I like that I like that it's washable it's not like a self tanner cuz I don't know I just feel like that's something different it smells good it feels nice on the skin it's almost like a gel consistency so I think this is gonna be really really good for summer I mean for any time but you know and then another product they came out with is do the hula I love this packaging this is a liquid bronzer what's it say on the bottom soft matte liquid bronzer for face so let's I haven't tried this so let's give it a little go Ooh, girl oh it feels really nice but it's a little bit orange Ooh. I'm a little scared. It's hard to tell just like putting it on my hand. It feels really, really nice. I do wish it were a little bit more cool toned, but I'll try it out. I think I'm gonna film a uh, get ready with me and use all of these new products that I'm showing you guys. So we'll have to try this out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little afraid of this because I can just picture putting it on and starting to blend it out and then I just picture things getting patchy and very orange and this is scary to me but we'll try it together is that it for PR I think that's it see that wasn't so bad um oh let me show this to you guys I actually got this for my birthday my husband got it for me this is the Zara Beauty and Coffee Break with Danny organizer that they came out with I wanted something for eyeliners and possibly like liquid lipstick so this is perfect it has five little slots and I just I like this I feel like it's unique even though you can buy these like at Marshall's but not as five like I usually find maybe like a double one or it has some other like compartments with it I like that this is just these five slots do you guys know what I mean um, I don't know I like this I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this so my husband did good I just told him I wanted something for eyeliners and lip liners and this is what he got me so that's pretty good for a boy that is not at all into makeup um, what else do I have I think we're moving on to Ulta so the first thing that I got is because of my friend Courtney this is the NYX ombre blush in mauve me this packaging I think is so nice it's like super thin this blush you guys oh my god it's so pretty it's so pretty and it's so soft there's like a fuzzy okay um this is what it looks like but look at this when I swatch it it's just so gorgeous and it's so soft it's so silky smooth I'm so excited about this I don't know why I didn't buy more they had five or six different shades and this was the only one that I got like what was I doing that day usually I would just buy them all which I'm gonna go back to Ulta because I love this I've only worn it once but it blended out so nicely I just love this I I love it that's all I can say I'm in love oh this is PR I'm just gonna throw these in real quick so Mally sent me two of their lip glosses 
So I have Orchid Berry and Shimmering Nude. I will insert swatches for you guys because I'm kind of running out of room. Um, but these are really nice. They are so extremely pigmented. It's almost like a lipstick. Like, it doesn't remind me of a gloss at all. It feels like a full-on lipstick, pigmentation-wise. But these are nice. The packaging's really cute. They have a nice consistency to them. I do not use Mally enough. I really don't. Like, I know very little about the brand. So this is a brand that I definitely need to get more into. Speaking of Mally, I also have this 24-7 Illuminating Blush. This, I thought, was the highlighter that everybody's talking about, like the gold highlighter, and then you get the light peach blush, but I got this by accident. So, I mean, I'm going to try it out, but this is a cream product. This is like a cream highlighter, and then this, of course, is a gorgeous pink blush. So I'm going to try this. I'm not really into cream products, but I will give it a go. I don't want to knock it because I haven't tried it. So, I mean, look at this packaging, though. This is so adorable. I'm a sucker for packaging. I know it doesn't really matter. It's what's inside that counts, but this is cute. Okay, what else did I get? Oh, this is exciting. This is the Rimmel Kate. What is this called? It's like a little contour kit. So they had three of them. The one that I got is Golden Bronze. So you have a blush, a contour shade, and then a highlighter. I have not touched this yet. So let's see how the pigmentation is. Oh, I have stuff on my hand. Ooh, that looks like a really good contour shade. Mm, the highlighter doesn't look that good, but the contour shade looks really nice and so does the blush. So, like I said, I'm going to film a Get Ready With Me and use these products. We'll definitely try this contour shade out. Yeah. I kind of wish I would have gotten one of the other ones. I was so torn because I wanted this contour shade, but I wanted one of the other blushes and then one of the other highlighters. So, basically, I needed to get all three to be happy. High maintenance. Okay, I need to get a wipe out or else I'm going to make a huge mess. How's my hair? Oh, you guys. Okay, so I got two Essence eyeshadows. They had testers out at Ulta. These are so pigmented, and they were like $2. So I got the Grammy Glow... Wait, let's try that again. The Grammy Goes Glammy. Look at this color. This is so me. I swear they made this for me. But it is so soft. So pigmented. You would never think this was like a $2 eyeshadow look at that this is exciting to me oh my god that's so pretty i'm so excited about this okay and then the other one i have is rosy flamingo these names are really cute and this one's more of like a pink tone oh my god these are mm, so soft how many times am i gonna say that are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I would have bought all of them, but they were sold out. These were the only two that they had. I need more of these. I mean, as long as they act well, what's the word that I want? As long as they um, perform well on the eyes, I want all of these because the softness and the shimmy sham, shimmy sham that's happening is making me do crazy things. So I got one of the Fiona Styles lipsticks. Everybody has been talking about this brand. Um, I was going to get the little contour kit, but I have not heard good things about it. So I just got one of the lipsticks to play it safe. This is the Hydra Shine Essential Lip Color in Soto. Packaging is gorgeous. This color, I've worn this. I wore it and put it back in the box so I could show you guys, but this color is so nice. It's very like everyday appropriate. It's not insanely pigmented. It kind of has like a glossy feel to it. But this is a nice color to just slap on. No mirror like when you're out running errands and you just need a little something. This is really nice. I like this a lot. Oh, these things I got at the dollar store, but I'm just going to throw them in. So Broadway Colors. Is that what it is? Yes. Broadway Colors came out with True Matte Lipstick, so I grabbed the two nude shades. So we have Sparkling Stone. I guess I should open this one. Oh, I hate opening packaging. <laughs> such a first world problem. You're such a bitch. Okay, so Sparkling Stone is this one. It's a really, really pretty nude shade. 
let's see how the pigmentation is. Uh, not so bad. I mean, you can definitely build it up. That's a really nice shade. I just hope these aren't too matte and like drying and kind of crumbly because this was like a dollar, seriously. But that's not to say that something for a dollar can't be good. I just, I don't know, I just worry. I just worry. Don't hate me. This one is in the shade Nude Rose. This one's a little bit more pink toned. This guy. Here, let me swatch it for you guys so you can see like how it builds up. Let me take my watch off for the love. Okay, ready? Ooh, that one's pigmented. Oh my god, that's pretty. It's like a mauve shade. Very pretty. I think these might be good, you guys. Do they smell? No. Zero smell. But if you have a dollar store near you or somewhere that sells Broadway, check these out. I think they might be nice. And then I grabbed a Wet n Wild Mega Slick Lip Gloss in the shade Sun Glaze. Let's crack this bad boy open. I don't know why I was so attracted to this color. I can't remember who it was that I was watching and they said that one of these Wet n Wild glosses was like their favorite gloss of all time. And I don't think I've ever tried these. This one has a little bit of shimmer to it. It's almost like a peachy shade. It's so pretty. I just hope it's... Ooh. Oh, yeah. Can you guys see that? <gasps> oh, my God. I want to put... Can I put some on right now? Why am I asking? I'm going to try this on. <gasps> you guys know I love gold lip gloss. That might sound weird, but I do. Oh, this is really pretty. It feels nice too. It's not sticky. It's not thick. And it's really pigmented. Oh, I want more of these. Mm -hmm. I'm down, wet and wild. I'm going to the dollar store today. Okay, moving on. Back to Ulta. So I picked up what I thought was an Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I actually got the Brow Definer. But I haven't tried it yet. I've heard really good things about this though. So, I got the shade Dark Brown. Oh, that, ooh, that's a big-ass spoolie. Oh, my God, you could kill someone with that. So the only difference, I've heard people say it's the same formula as the brow is. It's just in a different shape. I'll have to do a close-up, but it's, like, at an angle, and it's bigger. So I'm very excited to try this because I've heard such good things about it. But Tati said once you kind of lose the initial shape of it, it's pointless because you lose that angle, which is what makes it so quick and easy. So we'll see. I picked up the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in White Russian because I've heard so many people say this is good. I don't know that I've ever owned this. I feel like I have. Mm. God, everything is so hard to open. Oh my God, this is so pretty. It's just like a super, super light, like peachy nude that would look gorgeous over anything. Mm, I love the smell of these. They do really not burn your lips, but they have like a very cooling sensation. I have another one of these. I don't love that cooling feeling, but I'm willing to fight through for a gorgeous gloss. So moving on. Oh, these are exciting. So I picked up four of the NYX glitters and it's because of Katie from Luster Lux. She did a video using gunmetal, which I think I got. I think this one was gunmetal. Yes, this one. These are so cool. I did try the gold one. I think it's just called gold. Yes. These are so pretty. I'm all about glitter on the eyes. Like, I love glitter anywhere on the body, pretty much. But I got gunmetal. I got gold. I got bronze, this guy. And this one is so pretty. This is rose. It's like a rose gold shade. Gorgeous. I'm not going to open these now because they're going to get everywhere. But if you see these next glitters... You need some. They're really good. And the last thing that I got, oh, this was actually PR, but I want to mention it. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Enigma. Now, this is something they put out for their 20th anniversary. 100% of your purchase price, like if you buy this, 100% of your purchase goes to help women's empowerment, nonprofit. 
I'm trying to think of what the paper said that they sent along with it. That's amazing. It's not like 10% or 20%. 100% of your purchase goes to nonprofits to help women's empowerment. It doesn't get any better than that. So if you guys need a new eyeshadow primer potion, I'm going to swatch this for you and show you the shade. I love that they put in a little wand. This is so pretty. It's like, oh my God, I got so much on my wand. Hold on. Hold the phones. Okay, so can you guys see that there? It's just like a really pretty nude shade. Hell, I would rock that as a lipstick. <laughs> okay, so good job Urban Decay. This is awesome. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you know my struggle with this best damn lip mask. I ordered this in December and I didn't get it until March, but it was worth the wait. This is Nicole Guerrero's line, by the way. This is so nice. It smells like rose. It's very thick and moisturizing. It's not greasy. It's not sticky. It is very unique. I, I've heard people say, oh, the Best Damn Lip Mask is so different from other lip balms or lip masks. And I was like, well, how different can it be? But it really is. It's like so thick. I don't know. I just love it. Is that Duke barking? Yep. So anyway, I got this. It was worth the wait. I've I've been told they're in stock now, so you won't have to wait two months to get your order. But I mean, this is like 30 bucks. Worth it. Worth it. I'm telling you, it's so good. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Oh, oh my God. Seriously, no joke. This is so good. This is by far hands down forever and ever the best drugstore brow item. Not even just pencil brow item along with my brow stylist plumper. <laughs> plumper. This is so good. It's just like the brow is. It's tiny. The color is amazing. The consistency is awesome. It lasts. It, I'm telling you guys, you need this in your life. If you don't want to spend 20 bucks on a brow whiz or whatever you're spending on brow products, this is where it is at. I love this so much. So Ofra came out with a new liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Dubai. The formula of Ofra's liquid lips are banging, bomb, amazing. So this is no exception. It's really good. It's pretty. It's... It's nude, which I love. I have no room left, but you know what? I'm going to go to the other side. Let's see if I can do this. Look at that color. It's so cool. Hey, it's camel color. It's a camel color. It's a camel color. That makes it even better in my opinion. So Dubai, if you would like to have a camel on your lips. <laughs> oh, and then ColourPop also came out with a new lippy stick. This is in the shade Poppin. It's one of their Matte X formulas, which I love the Matte X formula. It's very like silky and they're so pigmented. They brought this out for their two, for hitting 2 million subscribers. Um, what was I just about to say? I totally just lost it. Oh, this they were giving away. If you would spend $10 or more, you would get this for free. But let me just show you guys how pigmented. Like that is one swipe. They saw that. But do you see that pigmentation? That's out of control. I hope they come out with more in this Matte X formula because it's so good. And look at the packaging. It's not white. It's pink, which is so cute. I just love it. Okay, and all I have to show you guys is a few nail polishes. So I picked this one up at CVS. This is the Paparazzi Shade in Forever Sunset. Do you see that iridescence? I love that in anything. So I thought this was so pretty. I think it's one of their new colors. I haven't tried it out yet, but I think it's going to be really good. And then this is what I have one now. This is the OPI Infinite Shine in To Be Continued. This color is gorgeous. Um, the formula is really good on this. I've had this on now for, oh my God, my nails are disgusting. I've had this on for three days and I am so hard on my nails recently just because of moving and like cleaning out the old house. So it is held up really well. That was kind of my fault because I like got it stuck on something, but I like these. I want to get more of this brand, really nice. And then I saw this Sally Hansen Salon Manicure. This is one of the new spring colors. This is in the shade in full blue. Mm. 
<laughs> Let's try that again. It's pretty much in full bloom, but it's spelled B-L-U-E dash M. Bloom. You know what I mean? <sighs> anyway, this is the color. It's really, really pretty. Um, I have a thing for blue nail polish, what can I say? And the last one I got is from Essie Spring Collection. This is in the shade Going Guru. I, that name, just like, how could I not? But it's this really pretty creamy, like milky green. Creamy and milky in the same sentence, wow. But it's so pretty. Haven't tried it yet. Um, you guys keep telling me you want me to go back to doing Essie Collection reviews which I probably should. I haven't done one in so long and I used to do like every single one. So maybe I will start doing that again. Okay, so that is it for this video. Wow, I didn't quite think I had that much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. If there are ever any new products out that you feel I need to have in my life, Tweet me, Instagram me, well you can't snap me, but you will be able to soon because I just recently got the 6S Plus. My 5, my iPhone 5 could not handle the snaps and it would just like shut down so I had to turn off public snaps. But now that I have this new phone, I think I'm going to be able to turn snaps back on. Because I have people say, I snapped you and I can't get to you. Did you block me? I never block people on Snap. There's never a reason for it because you guys are awesome. Um, but anyway, that's the Snap story. Why did I even get into that? Um, I have no idea. I think that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I miss you. I hope you guys have a kick-ass weekend. And oh, thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. I mean, it was like 11 o'clock in the morning and I already had so many birthday wishes and like you guys made little cards for me and I got stuff to my P.O. box. Like you guys are just the best. Thank you so much. It made my birthday so much more special. Oh, you guys are so sweet. So anyway, I love you guys. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone. Oh my god, you're so cute. <laughs> Let me just take that off. Ooh, that is not. Wait, 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 wait. So that is gonna be everything. I'm all about that pink. <laughs> I hate myself sometimes. I'm all about that pink iridescence. Like, but I am. Like, mm, it's so pretty. It is gore. <laughs> I just don't like myself. 100. Not five, ten, twenty, thirty. Not even fifty. I'm going under it. So the next problem that I... So the next problem that I... <laughs> like once you lose that shape, it... What am I trying to say? What? Take me with you. I hope they come out with more in this Matt X formulation. Why do I feel like I'm crazy? I hope they come out with more in this Matt X. Like you're never going to buy all three and then be like contour, blush, highlighter, and use them all, like get them all out, lay them in front of you. Who's going to do that? Nobody, so I just bought one. Please. <laughs> I want to try more from Fiona Style. <laughs> I want to try more from. I want to try more from the brand Fiona. I want. I. I do want to try more from the brand. I do want to try more from Fiona Styles. <laughs> but I can't. I can't. I'm not just. I'm just not gonna say it. I'm just not gonna say it. I do want to try more from. I do want to try more from the brand. Fi when it comes to highlighters, Mama knows. I'm gonna best. Don't. <laughs>